We shall not cease from exploration, and at the end of all our exploring will be to arrive where we started and know the place for the first time. T.S. Eliot. As all great explorers know, maps lead to hidden treasures. However, when it comes to the Mandelbrot set, the map is the treasure. Z equals Z squared plus C. It is a difficult task describing the Mandelbrot set as it displays tiny bits and pieces that remind us of everything we can see in the visual world, especially in living things. And although it reminds us of many different things, the Mandelbrot is completely new as far as history is concerned. It is a geometric shape that reminds us how the world and the universe work. With the discovery of the Mandelbrot set, mathematicians have been able to prove that there are mathematical objects that can be magnified forever with infinite precision, quality, calculation, and measurement. Although these objects are not touchable because they are continuous, we can touch approximations of them. Fractals like the Mandelbrot set are absolutely there in the world around us. There is no question about it. The Mandelbrot set works on the laws of addition and multiplication. Anyone who can add or multiply can understand the principles on which it is based. Although the Mandelbrot set is infinitely complex, it is based on incredibly simple principles, addition and multiplication. And from very simple formulas, you can get complex results. The formula is Z equals Z squared plus C. Because one only needs to add and multiply, mathematicians came to the conclusion that the Mandelbrot set could have been discovered by anyone in human history, and not just in the 1980s by Benoit B. Mandelbrot. However, the problem of its discovery lies within the number of additions and multiplications one needs to apply over billions of times in order to create a full set. And that is why it is a quite recent discovery during the modern era of computers. Early discoveries of fractals include the Julia set, the mathematical monsters, and so on. For many, the Mandelbrot set appears to be moving. However, the Mandelbrot set never moves. Nothing is moving. It is a fixed entity. It only appears to move when magnified or minimized. While looking at the Mandelbrot set on the computer and magnifying the picture, more detail will appear and you will encounter miniature Mandelbrots appearing out of the original. Now these are replicas and although they appear identical, they have slight differences from the original. No matter how many times you magnify the Mandelbrot set, even if the picture was as large as the entire universe, you would still encounter new patterns. This is because the frontier of the Mandelbrot set is infinitely complex. And when I say infinitely complex, I really mean that. This is infinity. Let me stress that. This is actually infinity you are staring at. This has been Tuesday Talks with Irene. Join me next week for the continuation of the Mandelbrot set. Like, share, subscribe, and never be afraid to pursue the why.